Just gotta get in my stretches real quick before I go out and hopefully do some golf this time. Anyways, hey everyone, Dark Prince Plays here, letting the curtains rise on another episode of Let's Play Mario Golf Super Rush. In the last episode, we did literally nothing but some opening stuff, did a lot of impressions, voice impressions of different characters. And, uh, we're looking for the Caddy Master? Keep looking. Okay, I guess we won't talk to anyone else, but yeah, this time we're gonna looking for the Caddy Ma- oh. Oh, there we go. Now my toad voice is back. It looks like all I needed was a drink of water. Also, if you haven't seen the previous episode, make sure that before watching this one, so you're caught up with everything that's happened up to this point. Well, I guess you don't necessarily need to watch the last one in order to understand stuff. But you can if you really want to hear a lot of my voice impressions of just headcanon voices of different characters. You are game, right? I've been waiting for you. Oh, I hope you didn't sound weird. That didn't sound weird. Now, yeah. now, you're here for the package, aren't you? Uh, yes, sure. Oh, uh, yes, or a shrug. You don't have any idea what I'm talking about, do you? I'm here to give you your first set of clubs. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just, just my character with his overzell, like, I just, like, just, like, overselling it with his reaction. There are any cuffs to mice perfectly for you. Not bad, huh? Yeah, hooray. Now, when you're playing around here, you'll be chasing after your ball on your two legs and no carts. <laughs> Seems hard to carry around your clubs at the, at the same time, right? Well, don't sweat it. We'll load you up with a full set of 14 clubs. We'll start off with seven, which we call a half set. You can carry more, but it'll cost you in terms of speed. All right, that's enough for me. Go ahead and strap on that bag of, bag of clubs. Now I'm a, I'm a genuine golfer, here we go. You got a set of golf clubs, let's go, come inch four. When using half sets, it's important to carry clubs that fit your play style. This, this set should serve you fine for now, and don't worry, it includes a driver. Just come back and see me when you want to change things up, okay? Let me take a bow. Last but not least, take good care of these clubs for me, won't you? I think that's it. We're a fully fledged rookie now. You're a fully fledged rookie now. Why don't you go? Uh, why don't you try your clubs at the practice area up ahead? And I'm losing the voice again. Here it goes. Uh, and he's gone. <laughs> okay, sure. Some folks say bunny green is the basic course, but if you ask me, it ain't a bad. That ain't a bad thing. Learn the basics first. If you want to improve your game, you can't just play around. You must focus on improving your skills. Once you've uncovered a weakness while playing around, you should target that area of your game and practice. Okay. Good tip. If you want to practice any- I can't go over the grass? What? Oh, uh, sure. Okay. Short, rough. Strip of okay, whatever. Um, yeah, I already talked to a bunch- Well, I kind of want to talk to you because I like doing your voice. Here's some advice. If you're always going for full power, your accuracy might drop. Dial in the power just just a little lower, and you'll see that your shots are more accurate. Okay. Uh, you. Way to learn how to hit the driver? Uh, sure. You know, have you on the base of board hitting a shot? Uh, sure. Okay, use L to aim your shot. Uh, press. Let's uh, see. Okay, press. Uh, see so your overhead when you where your shot will land. The inner circle shows where the ball will land, carry, and the transition border sh shows where it, where it will roll. Okay. Some of a shot's carry and run equals its total distance. Dif distance is also affected by the shot's power, wind speed, and direction. Elevation change and landing area. Okay, press to activate the shot gauge, and then press it again to set the power of the shot. Great, let's get started. Now this, is, now, this is a pretty straightforward exercise. We'll be aiming at a target in the fairway with your driver. By the way, you'll need 60 points to pass this lesson. You'll get plenty of opportunities, so don't worry. The idea here is hit the tee shot that sets you up for, for an easy par on the hole. The target represents a great place to end up, up on the fairway for your next shot. Hang your speed stat, the faster you can run, dash, and special dash. Okay, if you want to get precise, the blue section of the target will score you the most points. Of course, this isn't always the best spot to be. I know the camera was talking, but I kind of want to read this in my own voice. The best spot to be... Uh, that will depend on the wind, your line, and the other conditions. For now, aim the blue area. We'll give you f start with five shots, but you don't wor don't worry about scoring your 60 yet. You'll get five more shots afterwards. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, I don't think there's any wins, so... Okay, so I think I do want to hit it as far as I can. Maybe not. <clears throat> I can fast forward. Okay. Oh, okay. So it <laughs> literally says 160. Uh, it seemed like the wind was going there, so I'm gonna... Oh. Uh oh, that's not good. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, I'm in the 8. Alright. I guess that's fine. Oh, shoot. How do you control that? Okay, they got nine that time. Oh, what? Oh, eight again. How are you supposed to do that? Like, do just go right here and then... Oh, okay. So you don't want to go in the red triangle area. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm kind of getting it. See, how, so, how did I feel? Were you able to hit the shots where you wanted for the most part? Uh, eh, eh. Alright, we got five more shots, but now we're going to get a bit more aggressive and stuff for birdie. Okay. Okay, we over here. Uh, oops. Actually, mm, no, that's not what I wanted. Okay, you got an eight. Maybe I can influence it. Uh, oops. Okay. Plus eight again. Uh, hmm. Whoopsie. Nine, all right. I got 60, so I don't have to worry anymore. Ooh, I might miss the circle completely. Oh, wait, I think I might get it, actually. Let me try... Something like this. Not what I wanted. I thought it meant like, oh. Uh, nice. Okay. I thought it meant like lower, so it'd go further. But I guess like the higher up you do, the further thing will go. Okay. Uh, level up. Okay, so I get to choose. Uh, I'll go with power. Fucking stat changes. Yes. Seems like the most basic thing to have, so I'll just go basic with the first level up. You did it! You scored 60, 60 or more. Uh, 60 or more, and that's your passion grade. I like the balance I saw from you between your safe shots and your aggressive shots. If you're on your way to a well-developed game, rookie, keep up all the good work. Good job, Gabe! To keep improving your, the accuracy of your shots, you will need to pay attention to both carry and run. Want to learn how that works? Sure. Uh, carry is how far the shot travels until the ball hits the ground. Run is how far the ball goes after it lands. So you see overhead view. Should, okay, the power of each shot will uh, determine how far it will carry. Uh, when a shot reaches the hole, the pin will appear in the gauge. Uh, be sure to factor and run and set the power accordingly. Okay. Did, is he practicing or did he actually miss? Nothing like loading. Nothing like loading up and just and just wailing on the ball with the big stick. Blammo! I mean, after thinking about my next shot, of course. Or about my next shot. I kind of don't want it to be like Toadette's voice that I gave her. But, like, at the same time, the one I'm, I keep giving him doesn't sound like it should be it. Ah, whatever. Are we getting a big inner approach lesson? Oh, I guess I gotta do all these. Uh, review the basics, hitting a shot. Uh, approach. An approach shot is any shot taken from the green with the intent of, of the ball uh, to stop the ball on the green. Press out. Uh, when using the wedge, power on. P W A R S U W. Hit a half shot, which travels half the usual distance. 
Okay, basic 30 yard approach and the flag ground is your, your guess approach wedge. Spot, you can try to bump and run. Wait, where you chip the ball into the green and let it roll to the hole. It's 10 yards of the green and 20 to the hole. After your shot lands, it'll roll for a bit to aim for 30 yards and land up past the hole. Your far shot determines how far the ball will fly until it hits the ground. That's what we call carry. In this situation, you want to fly the ball about 75% of the way to the hole. After it lands, the ball will roll or run the rest of the way. If you can consistently stop your approach shots within three feet of the hole, you'll be in great shape to make lots of putts. First up, try to score at least 10 points. You have three shots to do it. Okay. I imagine the circle is going to have less points on it this time around. Okay, same elevation. Let's... So it wants me to do this, so do I... This. Hey, hole in one! Look at me to learn it eating. Got another one! <laughs> oh, that one's gonna go over. Yep. Oops. 20 out of 10 is not bad. 200%. Could only for 300, but you know what? I'll take it. You passed it. Approach shots are key to scoring well. So it's nice work. Let's move on to the next lesson. For this approach, we're looking at the same distance as before, or about 10 yards from the green, the hole's 20 yards past. Uh, so we have a 30 yard of elevation gain to account for, so that means I need the shot to carry a little further, okay. It's easier, uh, for the easiest possible putt, try to stop the ball in front of the pin. It's easier to putt uphill than downhill, okay. Let's shoot for at least 10 points again to get three shots. Okay, let's see. Nice, okay. Um. Oh, there we go. Almost same elevation, so I uh, think we want this. Wow! Oh, that's okay. Let's see. One, yes! 28 out of 10. Nice. Okay. Alrighty, lesson passed. Try to remember everything you learned about hitting shots and up inclines and like, like that. Approach shots are just as important as putts, so keep practicing and locking those skills. It's pretty easy to overshoot your target when it's downhill, so this so this will be good practice for you. The hole is one yard downhill and 90, 98 feet away, which means you want to ease back the power a little bit. It's not the, okay. You know, drill score more, okay, one more. See if we can... Nope, that's gonna be way too far. Ah, or it's just gonna barely hit it. Okay, I think we want it like right here. Maybe. Wow, okay. Uh oh. Ooh. No points on that last one. Womp womp. Nice. All right. I'd say I did pretty, pretty all right in those. Uh, do I get another level up? I do. Level three. Uh, let's go with stamina. Lock and stat changes. Yes. Imagine we get more, like we get more opportunities to level up stats as we go along. No lesson passed. That's it for me. But if you want to keep on practicing, if you want to improve, come find me. If you want to retake it, oh, okay. My lessons. I'll be right back. Alrighty, back to chaos. And come find me if you want to retake any of my lessons. Uh, you. Uh, be any putting lessons. Okay. So, the best way to help you learn how to judge your distance. Putting requires more precision than other shots. Uh, sure. Okay, when putting, you only have to worry about line and speed. Line is where you aim. Speed is how hard you hit the ball. Okay, press Y to select between short, medium, and long putts. Choose the distance between uh, that fits your putt. The grid on the green shows a higher elevation... And blue and lower and red. Points of high and low from oh, the points the point the light flow from high to low. Greater elevation changes result in more points of light. Very short putts can be tapped in simply.
Oh, okay, I remember that. Uh, it's over for a target 16 feet from the ball. Try to imagine a three-foot circle around the cup, okay? Our goal is to, to get the ball to stop just inside that area. Passing it, this is 10 more, okay. Now, at this point, I kind of want to yada yada the tutorials so we can actually get to the main stuff. So, let's see. Uh... Okay, so... Wait, that is way too far! Oh. <laughs> you sure? So... Does it not matter which mode we have it in? Okay, let's... Okay. Nice. 29 out of 10. Missed it by one, but it's all right. Fast, but there's room for improvement. Let's, okay. Play it from 16 feet again, but this time the green's in flat. I'd say the baby hill at one foot. Try to nudge this one until it stops up from three feet of the cup. All right, 10 points more. Let's see what this does. Okay. So I will need a little more power then. Okay. All righty. And then I imagine when it's red, you want less power. Nine points. Nice. Okay, you pass it. Keep practicing. Make sure you're doing better. All right, 16 foot, foot putt, same as before. However, this one's downhill. One foot slope from the ball to get to the hole. Okay. So you want a little less power. All right. Another one. Got the perfect score. Nice. Okay. All right. And, uh, yep. Another level up. All right. Uh, let's go with speed this time. Locking stat changes. Press the jump. Press start to rapidly get out of quicksand. All right. Did you master the art of downhill putting? That'll do for this lesson. Uh, you. Hey, Hotshot, are you busy? Because I got a putting challenge here and I need some test it on. Uh, sure. So let's see. So, okay, you got nine nine shots to score at least 80 points. Okay, so I think I want to just... Alrighty. Oh, was it uphill? I wasn't paying attention. Shoot, I don't even think we can get it any get it anymore. No matter what we do. Rats. Uh, oh, what? <laughs> just look at his eyes. Just, ah. Play again. Yes. Let's try this one more time. Okay, nine shots. Okay, there's ten. Another ten. Ten. Yeah, imagine the first part of this L of this LP is gonna be quite boring. But I'm sure later when we get to the actual golf playing, it's gonna be a lot more hectic and and just better content than just me constantly hitting a ball into the hole and basic training and uh oh. Oh thank god. Got it. Nice. Okay. Okay, and we do get a level up. Two level ups, actually. So we get two. Okay, let's do control and spin. 
As a result of upgrading your spin stat, your shot gauge will now have more curve sections. Want to review how to, uh, sure, how to hit super curve. The shot gauge you can increase with one of four sections of curve. Each section lets you add an additional mid-flight curve. You'll earn more curve sections as your speed stat and your spin stat increases. Huh. The more sections you have, the more control you have over the when and where to curve each shot. Me characters can choose to increase their spin stat each time they level up. Mario and friends can acquire club sets featuring more curve sections by earning character points. If your shot gauge, gauge has two curve sections, uh, you can tilt the first one, then the second to shot curve right and then left. Okay, that's pretty neat. Yeah. Oh, come on! I know luck when I see it. Fine, you win. Feel free to beat it again if you want. Okay, how about you? Let's do yours and then move on. I just cooked up a tough approach shot challenge, but but so far no one has dared to uh, approach it. How about it? Are you brave enough to school my approach challenge? Sure. Super backspin. Uh, while setting shots power, we'll add a backspin. Okay. Nine shots. Let's see. Uh oh. Oh, I keep. Oh, wait, I keep overshooting and shoot. Rats! Oh! Alright, got a nine. I don't think I'm gonna get it. Shoot. Ah! Yeah, no matter what I do. The curve line keeps screwing me over because I'm not, it's like, for some reason it's harder for me to tell. Just one more time. Maybe I hit it like right there. I tried to curve it, but it didn't want to. Shot am I on? Seven. No, I didn't get it. Shoot. Oh, no, no, I def definitely didn't get it. Yeah. Me. All right. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, fine. Okay. That's gonna overshoot, I think. Oh, did not. Oh. Did I screw it up again? I did. I flubbed. 
Yeah. Man. If I had hit anything on that one shot, I would have gotten it. I know this episode's been going on for a while, and I've been doing this a lot of times, but I kind of now... I've just gotten to the point where I'm just determined. Anything. Anything will get it. Awesome. Nice. Okay. Alright, there we go. Give me my XP. Oops, I'm doing it. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, I'll just keep going like up, down, 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 because I. I really don't understand, like, or well, I guess I kind of do understand the stats, but like, I don't really I'm, like know the best strategy for uh, upgrading your stats. Double just swing a beauty, Chevrolet. Actually, I'm halfway impressed. Let me know if you want to do it again. Okay, no, thank you. Um, okay, it looks like we go back. So what's next? I gotta go over here. There's this rookie course ahead. So is this like the training area? Practice area. Okay. So, why does my computer feel, suddenly feel the need to become a jet turbine? All right. So, anyways, uh, there it goes. Okay. Next time on Mario Golf Super Rush, I'll probably begin my very first course. So, actually, let me talk to you. If you want to improve your game, you can. Oh wait, no, I already talked to you. My bad. Uh. Wait, why do we have golf carts if golf carts if we're not allowed to use them? Maybe it's like for the staff and stuff in case people like pass out from the heat. I don't know. But anyways, yeah. Next time we'll begin our first course and act hopefully actually get into some gameplay after like two episodes. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. And goodbye. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to do this. And goodbye. There we go.